So let's have a look at our uh, deck list. So we have uh, one Gates, one Drakes. Um, then we have uh, Loren Marion on uh, Drakes as well. We have uh, Dylan Button on Elementals. We have Yannick Darkus on uh, Azorius Artifacts. Uh, playing Arcanist Owl, all that glitters. Uh, and this looks like a uh, aggro version of the uh, deck that we've seen Koba play up to now with Mono Blue. Um, then Lindsay is on uh, draw 2 with Fairy Vandal and Crackling Drakes and uh, improbable alliances yes uh, four very vandal four improbable alliance so i'm uh, putting that in with uh, the blue red spells decks even though it's a very very different flavor uh, chef tibergen is on uh, blue black mill yes uh, mill mono blue mill uh, blue black mill uh, definitely an archetype that is up and coming as well. Uh, Frederick Mortiv on Mono Blue Mill. And then Lars is on Gates. Lars on Gates, there we go. Um, and we have Ian on Improbable Alliance Fairy Vandal. So the draw two uh, focused version. Yuri Glass, Improbable Alliance, Fairy, and, uh, Fairy Vandal, also on Drakes. Peter Steenbeke, uh, Boros Adventure. Uh, we have Feather, Aurelia, Oketra, Outlaws, Merriment, 10 District Legionnaire. So very much a uh, new generation of Boros decks. And then Alan Schuur with uh, classic aggro uh, elementals as our last player. That means uh, our meta game today is uh, three gate decks, four blue red variants, uh, two elementals, uh, one uh, Azorius artifacts, two mill decks, and one uh, Boros aggro deck. Uh, notably missing is any dedicated food decks and a cavalcade uh, of calamity aggro deck uh, so let's see what you guys are saying